Okay, so look at me with the smeary makeup. <laughs> Let's put glasses on on top of makeup. I just finished up a, a two hour class. It was really a one hour class. Um, and I probably fooled around for 15 minutes at the beginning and then I did an hour class and then we stopped and then we continued to chat on the webinar. And um, of course, it's always the meeting after the meeting that has the super goodies. Um, but I just got asked a question. So I wanted to, uh, after the whole webinar was over, um, I want to talk about fanning the flame. Um, I said during my webinar that all through most of my business, I had uh, um, a why. I had something that was bigger than me, something that I wanted, something that I was after. And it was really about my kids um, and, and being home with them and bringing them up and, and all this other stuff. So that thing drove me, um, the idea of our family. And, um, and not to be boohooing, but uh, the kids grew up, you know, and went off on their way. Uh, one moved to New York, one moved to Australia. She's back home now, but at the time she was in Australia. Um, it's unfortunate, but my marriage broke up, um, which was a surprise to me. And all of a sudden I was motivationless. All of a sudden um, the thing that drove me was gone. Um, I never really did it for the money, although I, of course, I liked earning money and like earning money. Um, I never really did it for like the fame, so to speak. I know that sounds goofy, but the, the notoriety, the visibility you know, on social media, you get to be visible. I didn't do it for that. Um, I did it because I thought I was building this future, um, this retirement, this, this thing. I did it because I thought I was building a thing. And then the thing went away. The, the need to build the thing, the thing went away. It, 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 it went away. So it took me quite a while to find something else that motivated me. So the person asked, um, you know, how did, what did you do when that, you know, went away? How'd you find something else? Um, first thing, and it's bad and it's good, I suppose. I never did it for me. I never did it for me. So then when it came down to actually doing it for me, um, and I think that's true of a lot of women, they do things um, and work really hard not for them. And then when it's time to actually think about themselves, they don't know how to do that. I didn't know how to do that. Um, so I had to expand my vision um, and find something bigger that would excite me again. Um, truth, truth, since it's 11.30 at night, one, some financial things changed uh, during that time period. So I had the motivation to get back to work because I needed to work. Um, and two, <clears throat> I started to really look at what it was that fired me up in the beginning, um, aside from my family, of course, was this message of freedom, this thing, this, uh, I have so many recordings of me back in the day, basically on my soapbox, waving a flag and talking about, you know, what was possible for all of us. And I did it. I did it. I created the modern day mom and pop. I created something you know and in this industry we use words like empire and this is not it's not empire guys it, it's it's a thriving viable business and i created it from right where i'm sitting right now the end of my kitchen table um and i just started examining my desire to teach this to people, which is what got me really going. In the very beginning, it was, I was in a network marketing company selling health and wellness products, and it was very exciting. But when I discovered the marketing side of things, when I discovered this side, the side that lit me up, the side that catapulted me forward, it was always this thing. So I went back and I searched my soul and I thought about what was important to me, what I wanted to say, um, who I wanted to be when I was gone. 
um, you know, be known for. I'm, I'm certainly not that old, but I, I have friends that have passed at this age. Um, I want to leave something behind. So a couple tips to answer the person who asked me the question. One, um, if you are in the beginning stages and you need money or you need to get out of a job that you're miserable in, you need to put that in front of you constantly, okay? You need to like roll around in it. You need to, you need to get disgusted with yourself if you're broke. Um, you need to get disgusted with your job. See, if you're comfortable, you're not going to make a change. Um, you're not going to make a change. You have to get yourself to be completely uncomfortable. You have to sit and look at like, like what I would do, especially like if I were in debt or something, I would sit and look at the interest. So see, most people just pay their bill. They don't think about it. I would pull out those damn, uh, uh, invoices, whatever you call them, bills, and I would circle and highlight the amount of interest I paid because I couldn't pay my bill in full. And I would sit and look at it. I would post those things up. I would remind myself. I would take pictures and put them on my screensaver, okay? I would agitate myself until I couldn't stand it anymore, until I had to do something. Um, if I am miserable at work, I am going to like start taking pictures of things and document things. I'm going to keep a journal of all the things that my negative boss or teammates say to me. I'm going to keep kind of a little diary on my phone of how long it takes me to commute and how tired I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start documenting all the things. For me personally, not in public, I'm not gonna make a vlog about how much I hate my job. That would be dumb, right? Um, I'm not going to make a vlog about, you know, how, how in debt I am, but I'm going to start documenting to myself and reading it and looking at it and getting myself disgusted with myself. Okay. Cause I gotta, I gotta build myself up to the point where I, there's no turning back. I have to make a change. Um, most people just kind of live in a place where they don't really have to. Um, there's nothing they want bad enough and there's nothing that's bothering them enough to make them make a change. Um, so if that's your circumstance, that's what I would do. And as far as if you're in the circumstance like I was where uh, later on I lost my, my why, um, especially if you're a little bit more mature, for me, I just, I just thought about what I want to say, what I want to leave behind, um, what I want to give to people, um, what I want my contribution to be. Um, and it took me a while and it still takes me time. Sometimes I'm just not as motivated as I could be. You know, and I'm always teaching people about motivation um, and self-motivation. Um, and I have to use these tricks on myself. I mean, I just have to um, look at stuff. I have to, you know what I like to do? Here's something. I like to look to pe at people that uh, I worked with for many years that have moved ahead of me that I started in the same place or I started ahead of them and they've moved ahead of me. I love to go watch their videos and agitate myself. <laughs> I love to remind myself about the years I, I gave up and lost um, because I wasn't taking action because I was living in my mind. I love to uh, look at opportunities that I can't take advantage of. So I guess for me, motivation um, often comes from the negative side. Um, I take the negative and I, I explode it in my mind until I can't stand it anymore and I have to do something to take action. So each personality type is drawn or moved by different things. But for me, I was always a gladiator, always a competitor. I was always somebody who, um, you know, like I never really tried it unless there was something to win, uh, you know, in school. I uh, didn't really want to do too much, but if I could get the highest grade on something so uh, there was some prize or something like that, I'd do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Um, so it's kind of like that here. I have to rile myself up or create some type of competition in my mind to get myself going. The bottom line is you need to start to learn to know yourself enough to learn what will move you. Um, and folks, I'm telling you right now, for almost all of you, it's not money. It's not money. 
because I had many opportunities during the window that I couldn't really get going. I had many opportunities to make big chunks of money. I was offered different things. Um, I had many opportunities and I didn't want to do it because I wasn't desperate, right? I had money coming in, I had residual income. I wasn't desperate. And the thing that I was offered to do didn't make my heart sing. So there was nothing moving me. So I had to fan the flame. Um, and not so much the flame of desire, but the flame of disgust. And maybe right there is my video title, fanning the, fanning the flame of disgust. Um, so do it whatever way you need to do it, but it's not money. It's something more, it's something else. And sometimes it's, it's things like avoiding embarrassment. Sometimes, you know, so many different things, but that's it for me. Um, you know, I'd love to, you know, tell you just, it was all for, you know, the good of mankind and all this other stuff. Um, but it wasn't, it was truthfully in the beginning, it was for approval. Um, approval and trying to get love. Um, now it's for leaving my mark. So that's it. Hey, dianehockman.com is my site. If you're not on my newsletter, jump on. Let me know how I can help you with your business. Um, it's been a good 20 years and I've learned a lot, but most of all, I've learned about me. I think it's such a blessing. So, later.